Hi friends, if you watched yesterday's video, you will know that I had a lot of balls up in the air right now. I didn't need to be hit by a raccoon when I had all those balls in the air, you know, but I did, in case you didn't know that, in case you didn't watch yesterday's video. Yeah, I got hit by a raccoon and I have to say it that way to get my insurance to cover it. So we're gonna say it that way. You better believe we're gonna say it that way. I don't know if I'm using my angst and upset from being hit to tinker and clean and do other kids chores, but that's what I've been doing this morning. I actually did Ashley's dishes. I helped Chelsea clean her counters off. <laughs> I have done laundry, which I probably need to go and move a load of laundry. I have edited a video, the raccoon. I've called the insurance company, clarified all that information. Again, go find that all out in the other video. I need to call Tesla or I actually just need to put an appointment time in um, to see when we can possibly get the estimate done. I'm gonna wait and do it after Abby's surgery. I can schedule it, but I'm not gonna schedule it until at least at least a week to a week and a half out from her surgery um, because I have my Christmas party a week after her surgery, <laughs> which I'll start with that and the mess that I'm looking at. It's not a mess, it's, it's controlled chaos. That's what my life feels like today, is controlled chaos. As long as I control all the little balls I have in the air, I think we'll survive. See what I mean? <laughs> it's a mess, but it's controlled mess. So these are all the little gift bags that we did, did last night. Ashley helped me fill all the bags with candy, and then I went through and I quickly put all the little, little twist ties on them. So there's probably about 180 to 200 bags of candy. I did run out of candy. Between you and me, I saved a bag of candy for stockings. <laughs> I don't really feel guilty. Cause literally like on the kids list of snacks that they like for Christmas, I don't know why they put the list out there. I know what their snacks are. I know what they like. M&M's, Skittles, Abby can't have the Skittles, but she'll be able to know after Christmas, she might be able to like put the M&M's in her mouth and let it like melt. Um, Starburst, literally on every one of their lists. <laughs> and that's what one of the bag was. So I kept it. So I'm gonna save that. So I didn't quite have enough candy to fill probably 30 extra bags, but honestly, like we're gonna have 200 people-ish at the party, and I don't, all the adult, adults aren't gonna take the candy. It's likely just gonna go for the kids anyway, so there's plenty of candy. Also, what I did yesterday that I did not film until I got hit by a raccoon, so I went back to Hobby Lobby and Michael's, because I just, I just have this idea in my head, and I, I, I didn't, I wanted to put like the white balls or white ornaments or something soft inside the tree, right? But instead, I couldn't find any of that. Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It just, like Ashley has said, everyone has kind of said, it just feels a little empty, the tree does. So I got that ribbon and I traded out the ribbon that was on my crocheted ornaments with this really pretty deep red velvet ribbon. And I actually really, really like it and I also, you can see the tags are still on here <laughs> because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not, but I got these wonderful picks and it's not necessarily like holly berry. Look how cool that looks. It's not holly berry. Let me see if I can pull it out here. Um, but it was the perfect amount of like red. I can go through and pull off the tags because I actually really like it. So it's a pick, but all of these little wires can like really move and they have like, you know, the brown color on it. But you see how it just adds just a little bit of color without it being like, oh, we're adding red to the tree. And it matches like all the other reds that I have, including that red velvet. So then my other idea is bows are big. Like bows on Christmas trees and bows on garlands. Bows on garlands, that should be a song. I tried to find a ribbon that was like three times as thick as this, like like that thick or so, and I couldn't find any. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is, and I'm not gonna do it now, I gotta get some other things taken care of first, but I want to take the ribbon and make bows and just make really long tails and an itty bitty bow, like little teeny tiny bow here, like, and have an elastic on the back of the bow, I'll show you, and have the elastic attached to the tree 
and then the bow will just drape just really long bow like tails and I just think that's gonna be really really pretty and it'll add just the right amount of like color to the tree without it being like over the top because I will have like all my bags are red and white and green ish and so like I think it'll just be really really pretty and it'll tie the reds in and then I'm gonna show you just really quick I've been decorating so I've got a little red house in there with a little truck that I've added to that scene and then a little tea towel there. Nothing is different with my mangers. I might try and get some greenery from Trader Joe's to kind of put behind this tree, this little thing here. I don't know, I, I don't know. They feel a little blank, a little like bare, but I don't know what to put behind it. And then this little stand is super cute. I have these ornaments that normally go on the tree and every girl has a little hat and I usually put them on the tree but like I don't have enough of them to make it, I want like enough ornaments that they're all over the tree except for their little, their little angel ornaments. There's only four of those guys but like all of these other ones I have a lot of, you know what I mean? And so these guys I only have four and so I put some t uh, paper towel into this hat and look how cute she is like all like stuffed up. And then these ones are just like not stuffed and they're just kind of sitting behind there with a little pair of hockey skates and a little scene down there. That one I haven't changed. I added my gingerbread sign over here. I still need to go pick some greenery, but I'm probably going to wait and do that next week when I get the greenery for my Christmas party. So we'll just worry about that and then it won't go like bad. It'll like be into December and it won't it'll only have to last like two or three weeks um, and then I can pull it out and then after Christmas. So anyway, that is what I have done here. I did take my basket that I had my stockings hung over and I put the candies in them. I'll probably put that back if I can find another basket to put all of the candy in. But for now, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's why the chaos is sitting right there because I don't know where to put it all. But coming into here, I have this little thing going on here. I actually found this candle up in my cupboard. I think it just didn't get put away after the holiday last year or I kept it out to just keep burning it. It's one of my favorite kinds of candles, the woodwick. If you don't have woodwick candles yet, get one, put it right by you, whether it's here in the kitchen or at your desk or in your bedroom and just listen to it. It's so relaxing. But I do think um, so if you guys, crafting and decorating is like my thing. I love doing this. Um, and if you want a few little tips, um, uh, stage things in groups of odd numbers. So this looks out of place because it's twos. So I need to have a third one up high, which I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and get some greenery um, to put right here in a little vase. And then I have, you know, like one truck. And then on this side, I have technically there's two but it's just one set of things over here that's just my tip he is going to go into the center of this counter here but I am trying to work on finishing up with all this stuff there's a lot less on here as you can see because I'm doing really good I am donating a whole bunch of stuff I've always used all these little ornaments but like I said like I only have two trees and one little banner that says Merry Christmas and two snowmen and that's a Santa and that's a snowman and I don't decorate with Santas and snowmen. I am donating all of this. It's fine. It served its purpose for many, many years and I don't need it anymore. I have a bag here of just, this is all Christmas donations. And I'm going to put this on my porch for my buy nothing group for people to just kind of sort through and take stuff. And then whatever they don't take, I'll take to Goodwill. But then this is Goodwill. I'm just going to take straight to Goodwill. But I am doing a fundraiser for Ashley and we get money per pound when we donate. And those mugs, I wish I had more mugs to donate because that's a lot of poundage. I'm going through um, this bucket here and I have actually gone through every single one of my tins. That's where a lot of this has come from. These down here are all empty and it's not because I'm using all the stuff. It's because I have donated it and it felt good. So I have this stuff left in that tin and this tin. I'm not putting these little ornaments on the tree. These are the red ones that I have, but I just am keeping it here um, in the bin to go back into the storage bin because I'm not going to use it this year. So I just have all these little trinkets to use on more little tablescapes. Um, if you see, um, some of this stuff is from some of you. Like, I think this one is from Michelle. And then the other ones... 
These ones are from Michelle. I think Michelle made these ones. I think so. That one's, th so the, she filled these with um, lots of little trinkets last year. I think this was Michelle. I'm, don't be mad at me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I'm almost positive it is because she's the one who makes us like our creamy cozies and things like that. So I just need to find a, find a creative way to use these this year. Maybe I'll put the kids like gift cards that they're asking for in here. I don't know. I haven't decided. But all of this stuff is ready to go back into the garage. I'm not going to use anything else in there. I'm going to tinker with more stuff here on the counter as I do some more little table trays. I've kind of stopped. I kind of got burnt out. So I went to eat some breakfast. But let me show you what I have done in here. So I have cleaned out that corner and that corner has to stay with all of the um, appliances, which I hate, but I just don't have lots of space. So it is what it is. But then over here, I created this little cute corner. Um, I just have a little garland that lays here and I have a little hot cocoa sign with Santa Claus, some candy canes in a mug. This actually used to be in a candle. And now it just is a cute little hot cocoa mug. I, I'm never going to use it for like actual cocoa. So I just use it for decoration. Along with a little hot cocoa sign. I got these from Target um, last year I believe. And then I used some of my ornaments here on the top. That's why I'm keeping the other ornaments. Because they do come in handy for like little tablescapes like this. Little tray things. Um, so I keep them because um, they're good little things. And then Jacob gave us this candle this year. He gave it to us on Thanksgiving. And so I just wanted to have that bright color red on that tray. This is not going to be on display, I think. It goes on this tray right here. This is a Lazy Susan from Costco. I love these things. I wish I had a bigger kitchen because I would love to have this on a center island. Like literally, if, it was, if, if this was like one solid piece of granite, like one big giant one, and my island didn't have a sink in it, that would be front and center. It would have a big bouquet of flowers in it. It would have like, it would have all the things. It would be so pretty. So I cleaned this off, wiped the whole counter down, and then I had to find a place to put all my cups and I had to reorganize this entire shelf. But I had to go through all our mugs. That's why I pulled out some extra mugs that I don't need anymore. Um, I went through some of my vases. I'm keeping this one out because I think I'm gonna put the greenery in that. We have plastic cups that we use every single day. These are Dixie cups, but they're reusable. You get these from, um, I got these ones from Target but then these ones are from Home Goods. They're like five bucks for all these cups. And they're so durable, so durable. The kids use these for um, breakfast drinks. But we went ahead and put our little jars in here. I, these are my cups. This is what we use for water, drinks, milk. Um, this is what we use. So I cleared out this whole space and put all the big jars that I had in here before out into the garage. And this is what we're going to use like going forward. I haven't decided if it'll all come back down here when we're done with Christmas, but for right now it's actually very functional to have it here in the cupboard. So I need to make a hot cocoa bar, which I need it to be fully functioning because my kids love hot cocoa. They love getting the candy canes. Um, I have like hot cocoa cups that are, um, what do you call it? Disposable. And then I have a big jug. Oh, we can't even see it. A big jug of hot cocoa mix. I actually have more packets of hot cocoa and like, I think I have regular, that one's peppermint. I think I have regular hot cocoa somewhere as well. And candy canes and marshmallows. My kids love hot cocoa and I just hate having to like pull out all the pieces every single time they want to make it. So my hot cocoa bar needs to be fully functional and like not have anything topple over or you know easily restockable and that's what's gonna go right there um so i need to and i'm not just trying to find stuff to buy but i need some kind of a container to put the hot cocoa mix in so it's not just in that big ugly um so that i can put that there with a little scoop because i can't do anything decorative here i can't i don't want all of these appliances over here um but I, I want it to be cute as well. But it just really needs to be functional. See, as cute as these cups are, they're just cute. You try putting hot cocoa in here and mixing it up and not having it slosh over and then not, I don't know. They're really cute cups, um, but they're not very functional and they don't stack well. It's just, it's, it, you heard, literally, that's what happens every time you try and get these things out before I hung them. But 
I'm just gonna display one of them with whatever hot cocoa bar I have out. And I've done laundry and so that's where I'm at. I have also been collecting like all the house with like, all the house decoration stuff that I'm not currently using. I have a bin out in the garage um, that I can pull from when I redecorate after Christmas. Um, but I'm, my brain is burnt out. It's noon. I only have two hours before Ashley is home from school and she's going to beg me to go get a birthday present for a party the day she is going that Abby has, has her surgery. So I need to get that bought for her and packaged and she has a card written and then she has sheer and then I have to take Abby tonight to go get a COVID test at 10 p.m. at a hospital two cities over. Can you see how many balls I have in the air? Can you see? And I just I really want I really want this counter clear. I want the kitchen put back together. I want the cocoa bar ready to go. Um, chaos for me like stresses me out and going into Abby's surgery I need to not have chaos. I need to have the home calm um, I need to have our home calm for her and for myself, but like for her, I want the holiday spirit here. So that if she's laying on the couch and help, letting me help her, she's got a candle burning, the lights in front of her, um, the fireplace burning and keeping her warm. Of course, all of that is for my other kids as well. Um, and they get that ambiance themselves hundred percent, but like, I need this in place. I need this in place for her. I'm gonna move to my next step and I'll bring you, I don't know what that is next. I don't know what that is next, but I'm gonna figure out what that is and I'll bring you with that. I'll bring you with me. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this, but here is the one for the table. I do need to get a napkin holder and some napkins to keep here at the table. And although I do have a lot of salt and pepper shakers, this isn't one of them, but I do have a lot of like holiday ones. Oh, here it is one right here. I don't actually fill them with salt. I just use them as decorations and I don't have a salt pe or a pepper shaker out. So it kind of feels like it's, this one is out of place. So I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird. Um, but if you turn it around, you have this little house scene on this side and then a little stand right here with a little scene. I like doing that. So I don't know if it's gonna stay this way. Um, it gets rotated around. The kids use it to prop up their phones. <laughs> and I don't love this um, table runner. It's obviously not big enough. But I haven't found one that I like. I did look at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So I might look at Marshall's when I look for a cocoa, uh, cocoa canister and some napkins and such. Some napkins and such. Um, but right now, I don't really care. This works for me. I also found a bag for all of the candy. I'm just going to take it and put it in the garage for the Christmas party. And then we'll display it in that one at the party. And then refill it from this bag. This one will look cute, kind of sitting by the photographer. But I'm going to vacuum everywhere down here. I think Jason did upstairs the other day. And that way, this entire area, all the shoes are put away. Everything is put away in here. It's all clean. Oh, I forgot. I hung up this little gingerbread um, garland. I'm gonna see if we can attach Christmas cards to it. I think we've done that in the past. Um, and that way, if you guys send us cards or our friends do, um, or you guys are friends too. I'm just saying in real life, like friends that we live with or family, we can hang them from here, see what it looks like, or I'll play around with another way to display them. Okay, Abby and I went to Trader Joe's. Here, can you either do headphones, Ash, or pause? Okay, so we went to Trader Joe's and got Jingle Jangle. I've heard all about this and it is living up to the hype. If you don't know what Jingle Jangle is, I will show you. I also got the mystery, um, what do you call these, recycle bags. I kinda just wanna get Hawaii and Washington and Utah and see what the other fun ones are. And Alaska. Um, and then I got some greenery, like you saw. And I'm just gonna put it in a, a vase right here. I just think that's gonna be really pretty to have some green right there. And of course, Abby and I got beverages. And this one, when we got home. I didn't know it was gonna be. <laughs> she didn't know when we were coming home. So she was running out into the garage to put the ice cream away before I got here. <laughs> so I guess that's your afternoon snack. Yeah. Um, so let me show you what the jingle jangle is really quick and then we will see what mystery bags we got. I'm just trying to really use recycle bags and I don't know, I just think they're fun. And the Trader Joe's ones are my favorite ones. Okay, that's what it looks like, or they say it looks like. And then this is what it actually looks like. Um, 
they're just really good. So you got uh, chocolate covered pretzels, and then chocolate covered, toffee covered popcorn. These ones are really good. And we have both dark chocolate, and Abby's been nibbling and taking all of these little guys. So there's dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Reese's, like little peanut butter cups. And then there's plain M&Ms. And then these are um, cookie bites, I think. I haven't tried this one. I think it's like an Oreo, or they're, maybe it's like their JoJo's cookies. Um, but this is my nibble, not yours. Not yours, mom's. I'm gonna hide this. Okay, let's see what bags. Actually, already knows what bags are in here. She's not gonna be happy. I'm not gonna be happy. I didn't get Hawaii or or Alaska or Louisiana. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And then the back side has some onions and peppers and celery. They're just fun. I don't know. I don't know why they're they're just kind of fun and different. Obviously, I'm not gonna necessarily care for all the rest of these. So this one is Maryland. Maryland with a horse. Did you bring the sunscreen? Sunscreen isn't what I would think of when I think of Maryland. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. Because I mean like I think that like rain boots and rain. Anyway, that one's cute. And what else? Kentucky. Oh, it is Kentucky. You said it wasn't Kentucky. Um, yeah, the bluegrass state, and then the back side is off to the races. Can I get a mint julep, please? Kind of fun. So, uh -oh. what? Oh, that's it. They're just kind of fun, just different, unique. Uh, it's only three dollars or a dollar a bag, and I'm always forgetting to have these in my car when I bring in groceries. I have forget to like put them back in my car. So stop drinking my drink. I'm guessing you can't go back out. I am gonna go back out, but only at like 3.15 or so. Give us 30 minutes at Sephora slash Target. Yeah. Right? Because okay. you're gonna get a present for your friend. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're gonna need to load that dish because who loaded your dishes for you? Dad. I did, my friend. Dad was gone. I have been cleaning and decorating I did not go to Marshall's. Oh, here, put this away. I had you sitting on the pretzel. <laughs> um, I am gonna take my snack um, after I have some lunch and like, I'm not gonna rest. I'm going to start working on the ribbons for the Christmas tree and then take her to cheer and to get a birthday gift. And then I'm gonna sit down and watch a movie and finally address my Christmas cards. I'm gonna spend the whole four hours of your cheer time, where my own time, here, here, at home, by myself. Abby will be upstairs, Chelsea won't be home until, well, she'll be home at four. Amazon. But I'm finally doing it. Amazon's here. That might be actually be a package for Abby from her friend, which is kind of sweet of her. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Let me turn the light on here. All right, I'm making these ribbons, you guys. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at how this one is on the tree. It's kind of gotten like, there you go. Look how cute it is. And then like the little tails just like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's like really delicate. I don't know um, how to describe it. I'm using a little crochet hook um, to attach the elastics. I'm using these little teeny tiny like hair elastics to attach it to the back of the um, bow. I'm kind of just like feeding it through the little knot in the back. And then I'm gonna take the, the, the hair elastic and um, put it over a branch. And, and put it over a branch. And that way it's just kind of disguised in the tree. Um, I just really like the drapiness of it, where to put it. Okay. There's another one. This tail is a little uneven, but that's okay. And I even did like little teeny tiny little cutouts on the ends. It's so cute. Um, I just love like the softness with the velvet ribbon and the small. Like sometimes smaller is better. Oh, look how cute that is. And I'm like with the big bows. 
to tie. I don't know. I just, I love, I can see like the green one right there. I seriously love it. Love it, love it. Now I have like as many more bows as I can get out of this spool of ribbon. Oh, it's just so cute. It's so different. So different than I've ever, ever done before. Tonight, I finally have time to turn all the lights on, light a candle, and write my Christmas cards while I watch a cheesy Christmas movie. So take care, you guys. Happy holidays, and see you next time.